in Europe, you guys are getting the summer. Here in South Africa, it's definitely changing more towards winter weather. So I've got a little heater here next to me to just stay warm. Make sure you stay warm. It's more pleasant to move uh, when you are warm. Or make sure you know you can even have some socks or something warm to start class with. And then also in the end, you can um, yeah just make sure you're comfortable. The word asana means physical practice. So in yoga, um, we call them the eight limbs of yoga. Um, asana is only one of them. So it's very interesting if you, if you are more interested to dive deeper into what is yoga, what can yoga bring to me, just out of interest maybe Google eight limbs of yoga or I can send you a link without, uh, with, without any problem. But asana is only one, and the word asana can be translated in physical movement, but can also be translated in comfortable seat. So every shape we do, it's not always going to be comfortable in the beginning, um, and it's also not going to be the same every time you practice, but you aim to a sense of comfort, and I feel that for me, comfort means that I can still breathe, that I can still have a smile on my face, so it doesn't become this like, oh, like this forcing and like I have to push. No, it's like, yes, this is challenging, there is an edge, whether the challenge is physical or, or emotional or mental, mental doesn't really matter, but there is a sense of, ah, oh, I can breathe, I can smile. So in the same view, let's come to a comfortable seat, which could be cross-legged, or you can also choose to come to a kneeling. I'll go kneeling today because I always do cross legged. So let's move away from habits. Alright, move around a little bit and then close your eyes to sit still. As soon as you sit still, focus on your breath. Can you lean a little bit backwards, almost like there is a wall straight behind you and you want to have your spine against the wall, you want to have your shoulder blades against the wall, you want to have the back of your head against that wall. How do you feel today? How are you going to bring whatever you feel you need in action onto your mat? So uh, is today a day where you feel you might need to, you know, challenge yourself? Or maybe today is a day where you're going to be super gentle and nourishing for yourself and your body? They're both fine. There's no attachment, no judgment. But it is a different awareness and a different conscious decision. And hopefully you can bring that awareness and that consciousness off your mat into the rest of your day. Let's place our hands together in a gesture of Namaste, connecting our hearts. Even though we're not physical together, we are sharing energy. It's a very different way to share energy like this, also for the teacher. But know that we are practicing together, that there are people breathing and moving with you at the same time around the world, which is pretty cool. And then today, let's dedicate our practice to the medical staff all around the world. Let's acknowledge them, let's respect them, and I really, really, really have a huge, 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 huge amount of respect for their choice of profession, and specifically now their commitment to helping and saving people's lives. So my personal dedication is to the medical staff. If you have your own intention or dedication, just bring it in your mind's eye now. And then bow your head towards your fingertips. If you haven't put your playlist on, your music on, put it on now. If it's on already, totally fine. And then let's come into a tabletop. So your hands are under your shoulders and your knees are below your hips. And we'll start moving immediately. Let's wake up the body. So inhale to look up, tailbone comes up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to 
chest. Inhale, cow stretch, we call it. Exhale, round the spine, cat stretch. Two more times. Great breath in, you can close your eyes. Feel your shoulders, feel your hips, maybe a little crack of the spine. One more time, inhale. Exhale, round the spine again. Press the shins into the floor. Come to a neutral spine and bring the right arm up towards the sky. Create a couple of circles with the right hand just to loosen up that wrist. Take a deep breath in and then we call this thread the needle. So the right arm is going to loop through and the shoulder just hovers above the floor, place it down. Now we move again. So we bring the right arm up, inhale. Exhale to pretend, slide through, almost down, and then we come back up two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Loop it through. Exhale. Back of the hand onto the floor. Now you can stay here. Your left hand can walk forward, spider hand, or you can bring your hand on your, your tailbone, your, your sacrum. Some of you, if you feel quite open, you can bring the fingers on the right side, the inside of the right knee. Oh, not the knee, the thigh, excuse me. Close your eyes, three breaths here. Soften the skin on your face, stay with the breath. In through the nose, and if you can, out through the nose. Place your left hand back on to the floor in front of the nose. Right arm up towards the sky. Breathe in. Both hands down towards the floor. Walk your hands forward for puppy's pose. So the hips stay above your knees and your chest. You press it softly down towards the floor. Three rounds of breath here. Really open the armpits, the chest area. You can have a third eye on the floor or the chin. Full expansion of the ribs of your rib cage. Inhale, lift your head, come to a elbow plank. So the knees are on the floor if you want. If you feel quite strong today, you can lift your knees off the floor. Now focus on a point somewhere in between your thumbs or even close your eyes. Hold it here for three breaths. Feel the strength of the body. Different people, different options. Drop the knees if you have to. Two more rounds of breath. In through the nose, out through the nose. One more time. Knees down to the floor, hips down to the floor, swings pose. So the toes are pointed and then press softly. So rather than collapsing, press the floor away. As if, as if your mat is stinking <laughs> and you don't want to smell your mat, so you go like, Ooh, and then look at the horizon, close your eyes, three breaths here. If this is not feeling too nice for the lower back, then just bring the elbows a little bit more forward. There's always an option, there's always a way to make this asana, to make this a comfortable seat. Take one more deep breath in, bring your nose to the floor, exhale. Bring your hands next to the body and the palms face up. And then start to slide your hands to the back of your mat. Lift your chest, take a deep breath in. Nose to the floor, exhale. Three more like that. Inhale, lift. Maybe if you feel ready, you can lift your toes just a centimeter off the floor. Exhale, come back down. Totally relax. Two more times. Slide the nails. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Maybe lift the hands, lift the feet. Nice warm up for the back. Exhale, come down. One more time. Inhale. And now we hold. Close your eyes for three. Breathe in. Breathe out. Reach a little bit further back. You lift your chest. And hands next to your shoulders. Turn the fingers forward. Lift your tummy so there's some space between the tummy and the mat. Take a breath in, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. 
You can press yourself up and now you can pedal out the feet or you can stay still. You can walk to plank pose and then back to downward facing dog. Just feel it out. My back always does a little pop, like a little crack, which feels nice, like a nice release. You've got around four more rounds of breath here. Stillness is also totally fine. All right, drop the knees down to the floor. We're back in tabletop. Readjust your hands and your feet. Left arm comes up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. Thread the needle. Exhale. Bring it back up. Inhale, lovely twist. Reach up. Exhale, bring it through. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, look through. Here almost touches the floor. One more time, this time we hold. Bring it through and hold. Place your shoulders softly onto the floor. You can walk your right hand forward until your bum, then the palm is on the bum, or your fingers are on the inside of the left thigh. You can also hold onto your t shirt. Close your eyes, three breaths here. Right hand comes back onto the floor in front of the nose. Press into it to lift all the way up. Breathe in. Both hands down to the floor. Exhale. Plank pose. So you can walk your hands forward, feet back. Really hold your plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Right knee to your right arm. Exhale. Back to plank pose. Inhale. Left knee to your left arm. Exhale. Keep going here. Option again is to drop to the knees. So do what works for you, 30 seconds, work your core, focus your eyes, keep breathing, exhale every time, the knee comes to the arm, preferable out of the nose, it is vinyasa breath, keep the body still, just move the knee, five, four, Woo! I'm getting warm here, lovely, three, Two, stay with it, breathe. Last one. Child's pose. Knees down, toes together. Bring your hands next to your feet this time. So it's actually called an embryo pose. It's child's pose, but your knees are closer together. And your hands are next to the bottom. Take a deep breath into the nose. And then sigh it out. <sighs> Two more breaths. Inhale, bring your hands forward. Exhale, come to a tabletop. Tuck your toes back to downward facing dog. So if you're not sure about down dog, I know we have all kinds of levels in the class, which is also normal. Also when I teach um, not online classes, but normal classes, it's, it's beginners, it's advanced people. But still, it's nice to just break down down dog. So index fingers are parallel to each other. Fingers move away from each other. So you're really trying to spread your hand. Your feet are hip width apart, and I like this distance. When you bend the knee and your straight spine is more important than straight legs. So I don't know if you can see me, but sometimes people want to absolutely have their heels down, but then their back starts to round. So their down dog starts to look a little bit like that. So rather than doing that, have a straight spine. And if your knees are bent, it's totally fine. You can energetically press the heels down. It's all about the spine, the vitality, the life force. You know, your central nervous system, all those nerves and communication from the brain to the body loops through the spine. I call the spine the highway of information. So keep the spine as fluid, spacious, and in these shapes as straight as possible. 
Bend your knees, look forward. Your choice, you can step or you can jump to the top of your mat. Toes to touch, inhale, halfway to flanker. Exhale, fold forward, die forward. Press into the feet, bend the knees, rise, inhale, high mountain, arms come above your head. Lovely, hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, both arms up. Hold on to your right wrist with your left hand and come into a half moon variation. Yeah, stay there, breathe. You can bend the knees a little or extend the legs. You can make it bouncier still for three. Focus your eyes on a fixed point. It's called a dristi. Two. Mm, lovely, that space on the right side. Inhale, back to center. Other side, half moon variation, three breaths. Mm, change the direction of the chin. Notice how that makes you feel. Focus on the breath. Come back to center, inhale, hands to heart center, exhale. Open the arms to the side and look up, inhale, so it's a bit of a back bend. And then exhale, hands back down next to your body. Inhale, arms up, we'll do that one more time. With the breath, hold on to the right wrist, exhale, half moon. Inhale, back to center, to the other side. Lovely. Inhale, reach up. Hands to heart center. Open your wings. Inhale, lift the heart, lift your base. Back bend. Exhale, hands next to the body. Pause. All right, let's flow. Breathe in, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, dive forward. Inhale, halfway, lift, lengthen. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Your left foot, right arm wings up towards the sky. Create a couple of circles if you feel that the wrist might be a bit sensitive. We'll give it a shake. Take a deep breath in. Fingertips down to the floor. Look forward. Inhale. Pyramid pose. So you extend both legs and you let your head be heavy. Hold here for three breaths. We're going to do quite a grounding practice. Quite close to the floor. Grounding practices give us stability. When we feel everything underneath us and everything around us starts to be a bit uncertain and unknown, grounding practices can really bring us back to the root, feeling that we are stable and safe. So that's why I picked a grounding practice. Let's move with breath. Inhale, bend the right knee, look forward. Move it back, turn the pose, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, come forward last time. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, low lunge. Come forward and then flatten the palms to the floor. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Open the hip to the side and start to bend the knee. You can create a crop of circles with your knee. Three breaths here, or with your ankle. Some people even like to drop the left elbow to the floor. These are all options. Three like the dog, lift the elbow, extend the leg behind you. Knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, plank pose, feet together. Lift knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, plank pose, feet together. Right knee to your nose, exhale, that's a core, good. Inhale, plank pose, left knee to your nose. Three-legged dog, lift the left leg all the way up towards the sky. Left knee to left arm, exhale, good. Inhale, three-legged dog. Bring it to the right arm, exhale, good. Pause here and extend the left foot towards the screen or actually towards the side, it would be your right side, and now lift the right arm up towards the sky. Beautiful. A little bit more dynamically, hover your hips just above the floor, bring your hands on top of your right leg. Now inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring it down. Two more, good work. Inhale, you can even look at your right hand. Exhale, bring it down. 
all the way up, breathe in, all the way down, breathe out. One more lift, inhale, now look at your left hand, right hand places down, left leg, three-legged dog. Inhale, step the foot in between your hands. Good, back knee down towards the floor, Anjana Yasana, arms up towards the sky. Close your eyes for three breaths. Take one more deep breath in, and now stand all the way up, exhale. So if your toes run up, tuck, tuck them, wobble, find your feet, maybe hop your right foot a little bit in. Take a deep breath in, and now twist to the left, exhale. Inhale, back to center, crescent lunge. Airplane lunge and torso, bring your torso back and your arms behind you. Lovely work. Arms reach forward, rocket ship. Arms reach back, airplane lunge. One more time, arms reach forward. Arms swim back. Inhale, arms forward, rainbow warrior. Now it's important that you turn your right foot all the way out so it's pointing to the corner of your mat and you flex your left foot. I like to swing my arms all the way to the side. Good. Awesome work. Now come to a reverse warrior. Left toes to the front. Left arm up towards the sky. And your right toes are in compared to the back heel. Fabulous. Sink a little deeper in your left knee. Reach the hand a little further. Yes, fantastic. Take a deep breath in here. Hands back down to the floor. Exhale, wimble them down. Look forward. Inhale. Prasarita, turn both feet parallel and hold and breathe. Shake a soft no with your head. And I'm going to give you a different variation here. This might be new to you. So, walk your hands forward, 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 forward until you go, uh oh, I might fall. Then place your hands hip width apart, shoulder width apart. And press into a very wide downward facing dog. One of my favorite shapes, so enormous. Good. Three breaths here. Walk your hands back under your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Look at your left foot, turn it to the front. Low lunge. Step back to plank pose. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. Close your eyes. You've got four rounds of breath here. You can stay. You can drop to the knees and come into child's pose instead to take a little break. Maybe even some handstand hops if you feel that you've got a lot of energy. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Rise, stand up, all the way up, arms above your head. Beautiful. Hands to heart center, exhale. Chair pose, Utkatasana, inhale. Bring your arms above your head and bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in and then twist to your right. So the left elbow comes to the outside of the knee. You can look down to the floor or to your right elbow. Back to center, breathe in, arms up. Hands to heart center, sit down. Lift the heart so you lengthen the spine. And then to the other side, to your left side. Focus your eyes on a fixed point on the floor. Or maybe you can bring the gaze to your left elbow. And, and also bringing the twist into the neck. Do what feels good to your body or even close your eyes. Back to center, inhale, chair pose. The legs are feeling it now. 
slowly fold forward, exhale, relax neck and shoulders, even give a little bit of a shake with the head. No, 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 no. Hmm. Circles with the head, circles other side. That smart brain of us also needs a break now and again. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Step your right foot, right foot to the back of your mat. Left arm comes up towards the sky. Hold and breathe. The left knee is above the ankle. So sometimes when we twist, the knee wants to help a little bit. It's really kind, but let's keep it in. So you're squeezing the left knee a little in. Pressure onto the big ball of the left toe. All right, reach up. Expand, inhale. Both hands down to the floor. Exhale. Look forward on an inhale. Pyramid pose. The hips draw straight back. You can drop your head. You can bring your hands a little wider. Walk your hands in a way that you feel stable. And then focus on the breath. Slow breaths in. Slow breaths out. Let's pulse. Bend the left knee. Hands can come forward, inhale, pyramid pose, draw it back, exhale, inhale, pulse forward, nice and grounded, close to the floor, exhale, opening those hips, two more times, breathe in, breathe up, breathe in, come forward, and drop the back knee down towards the floor, keep the toes tucked, inhale, Anjana Yasana, arms above your head, maybe interlace the fingers above your head. I like to have the index finger pointing up so the hands are crossed, except for my index finger. Take a deep breath in, and there you go. Power yourself up, stand up. Adjust the feet, feel that you're standing stable. Sometimes the feet need to move a little out to the side. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, stay. Arms come up, lift your chest. Airplane arms and torso, bring it back. Arms reach forward, rock a chip, breathe in. Arms reach back, breathe out. Again, inhale. Now bring your hands back down towards the floor. Three-legged dog, left leg lift all the way up. Open the hip to the side, draw the heel close to the bum. Breathe. Maybe bring the right elbow down towards the floor. Come back to three-legged dog. Extend the leg. Square out the hips. Knee to your nose. Exhale. Inhale. Plank pose. Feet together. Right knee to your nose. Exhale. Plank pose. Step it back. Left knee to your nose. Lovely. Inhale, plank pose. Right knee to your nose. Three-legged dog. Right leg lifts all the way up. Right knee, right arm. Exhale. Good work. Inhale, three-legged dog. Knee to your left arm. Hold. Extend the foot underneath you. Also flatten the back foot. So the foot turns. The left foot turns from the toes to the heel. Both heels are down. And then bring your left arm up towards the sky. Spread the fingers on the right hand. Good. Now hover the hips. Hand comes down. Inhale four times. Exhale. Bring it in. Bring it down. Strong legs reach up. Softly hover. Powerful, lovely. Inhale, look down to the right hand, left hand down. Big transition, three-legged dog all the way behind you. That is a big transition, lovely. Step the foot in between your hands. Good. Rise, inhale, arms up. Again, airplane, arms and torso, exhale. Actually, added an extra one on this side. Arms come forward, breathe in. That's not going to hurt you. Exhale, bring the arms back. Good. Bring it forward again. Inhale. Bring it back. Exhale. 
Reach the arms forward, prepare. Come to your rainbow warrior. Turn up, turn the toes out. Flex that right foot. Reverse warrior. So the right foot points forward, left foot turns in, right arm reaches up, hold and breathe. Nice. One more deep breath in. Wiggle your hands all the way down to the floor. Fabulous work. Look forward, take a deep breath in. Step back, plank pose to downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward. Step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Rise all the way up, breathe in, stand up. Hands to a heart center, close your eyes for just three rounds of breath. All right, so today, I'd like to break down side crow. I don't know if you guys, some find, so crow, these are, these are both, their arm balances. You, it's a matter of practicing, but sometimes just a little bit of breaking down and looking at the technique of it can really be uh, helpful. So, you don't even, if you don't do crow, then it's fine. You can try a side crow, or you can just have a break, have a sit, and then <laughs> just have a look and, and come back later. So you bring your, I'm going to face you, and I'm going to show you on the side. So your big toes are together, your knees are together. And then your back hand, it's for me, my left arm, is going to reach up really high. And you can do this with me. I call this the karate punch. So I'm squeezing my knees together, and I'm trying to bring this elbow to the outside of this knee, but as low as possible. Because the back of your arm is going to be the table where you're going to balance your body over. So if you are hooking just the top of your elbow, you won't feel very confident. So yes, it's also a matter of having space to twist. If it helps, you can even wiggle it a little bit down. So you're trying to have that knee as close to the shoulder as possible. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. The other elbow will come here on the inside of your bum. So maybe already place it there, boom. So if you want to give yourself an elbow on the side of your bum, then place your hands down to the floor. You can't really hold it there. Important here is to lift and then place the side of the thigh onto the elbow and look forward. Maybe feel the toes off the floor. If this, so play with that, if that's you, if that is easy for you, because some of you have been practicing with me for a long time, I can challenge you in a different way. So that is to move from this one to a herder pose. So you come into your side row. Now practice lifting the top knee up and away from the bottom knee. That's your first little exercise. Then if that is okay, you hook your top knee over like an um, eagle, you hook it over the right knee. Once the top leg touches the arm, you can start to release the other leg. So play with that for another 30 seconds. I can see some of you that have their screens on, just play with it or have a little sip of water. And if you have any questions, just send me an email after class or a voice note or something. It does bring you a bit out of breath. Around five more rounds of breath. Good. Once you're ready, come into a wide legged forward fold. So the feet are hip width apart. Close your eyes.
Inhale, halfway, lengthen. Guess what? We'll do the other side. So I'll explain it again because, you know, they say, um, what is it? Repetition is the, is the mother of skills. Repeat, 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 repeat. That's how we learn. So it is the back arm. This time for me, that's my right arm. Squeeze the knees together. They're one unit. And then karate elbow whoosh, down. If you've got a, a tummy, <laughs> we all have a tummy, you've got a bigger tummy, you might have to remove some of the flesh. So you, you're helping yourself to twist a little deeper because when you twist it nicely, you can bring that elbow lower and lower and lower. So the knee is actually close to my shoulder now. Hands come with shoulder width apart. Remember this elbow, so it's my uh, left elbow, needs to move in a little bit. I'm drawing it in. So I lift up, look away, look away, look away. By drawing the elbow in, it can come under the thigh. Now I know there's also guys in the class. If you've got broader shoulders here, and you're like, I can't put my elbow under my thigh, what is she talking about? Then this elbow, the second one, can stay to the side. And you can balance on just one elbow. That's also an option. Also for ladies, maybe if you have broad shoulders or you're a swimmer. And then let me just, um, I'll do that on this side, show you the other transition again. Hand shoulder with a part, lift, once you're in your side balance, the first thing to practice is to see if you can just open the right knee or the top knee away. Then it crosses over the other one. Once it's on the arm, you can start to release. And then you can even step back into Chaturanga. All right, show me <laughs> or show yourself or take a little break. You've got around 30 seconds left. Inhale, pyramid pose, exhale, draw the hips back. 
Left knee down, arms come up. Inhale, Anjanayasana. Exhale, just do a half split here. Bring your hands down to the floor. Now walk both hands over and across your right leg. So there's a bit of a side cross happening here. And then drop your head. Oh, so nice. Hands back, frame the foot, arms come up, tuck your back toes, breathe in. Interlace your fingers, breathe out. Stand up, inhale, crescent lunge, powerful, beautiful. Twist to the right, exhale. Inhale, arms come back up towards the sky. Hands down to the floor, powerful. Flatten the palms, three-legged dog. Open the hip, hold here, flip your dog. Flipping the dog means that you look under the left armpit, you bring the right toe behind you and lift the right arm up. Let's flip the dog. You can flip the dog to wild thing, that's what I'm doing now. You can also flip the dog to parallel feet and then maybe one leg onto bridge. Four more breaths, wherever you are, smile and breathe. Asana, comfortable seat. Good, look down to the left hand. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up towards the sky. Knee to your nose, exhale. Plank pose, inhale, feet together. Left knee to your nose. Plank pose, breathe in. Right knee to your nose. Inhale, plank pose. Left knee, hold. Three-legged dog, lift the left leg up and behind you. Knee to left arm. Exhale. Now you can stay here or do an arm balance. If you're used to doing arm balances and you feel powerful today, be my guest. Have some fun for three, two, three-legged dog lifted all the way up. Knee to the right arm. Exhale. Extend the leg underneath you. Lift the right arm up towards the sky. You can do the pulses. Or you can hold an arch. Reach active fingers. Good. Look down to the left hand. Big transition. Left leg behind you. Breathe in. Step the foot between the hands. Stand up all the way. Back to crescent lunge. Twist to the left. Exhale. Inhale. Crescent lunge. Just the torso and the arms move, torso forward, arms back. Inhale, rocket ship. Now fly onto your left foot. Airplane pose. Balance poses. Focus your eyes on a fixed point. Keep the limbs that are behind you, your right foot, your hands active. As if there's laser shooting out of your fingers, lasing shooting out of your toes. Yeah, wobbly, wobbly, that's fine. For three, step the right foot back. Crescent lunge, inhale. Lean forward, airplane torso. Arms only next to the ears, inhale. Rainbow warrior, turn the right foot out. Swing the arms behind you. Flex the left foot. Reverse warrior. This is a big transition with the feet, but you'll get used to it when you practice more often with me. And then wimble your hands down to the floor, low lunge. Look forward, breathe in. To the side, prasarita, breathe out. Different people, different options. You can do your wide-legged down dog. You can do an inversion, a handstand, a headstand. You've got 40 seconds. If you want me to break down any of these, I'm very happy to do so. But you need to know what you're doing because you are bringing pressure onto the neck. So if you're not sure, please just stay with your feet on the floor. Just close your eyes and relax. You are also inverted. If your legs are up, please slowly bring them down. 
Together, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Look at your left foot. Left, that's left. Yes, left. And then come to low lunge. Good. Step back, plank pose. We are home, downward facing down. Exhale. Bend your knees, look forward. Step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Rise, inhale, high mountain. Last bit on the other side, last bit of standing and then we'll wind down. Enjoy each breath, each movement. Inhale, arms up, hold on to your left wrist. Exhale, half move. Inhale, back to center. To the other side, exhale. Inhale, all the way up. Bring the palms to your heart, exhale. Open the arms, lift your chest, lift your heart, spread your wings. Fold forward, dive forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Step the right foot to the back of your mat. Left arm wings up towards the sky. Stay here, this is really good for your legs. This is really good for your spine. Or place the right hand flat and start to bring. You can take this really easy. And start by just trying to lift the foot. Reach up and press down. Reach up and press down. Yes, that's going to help you. Play with it a little. Looking good. Look down to the right hand. We meet each other in a twisted low lunge. Left arm up. Take a deep breath in. We're almost there. Stay with it. Hands down to the floor. Look forward. Inhale. Pyramid pose. Draw it back. Exhale. Right knee down. Keep your toes tucked. Arms up towards the sky. Interlace the fingers and reach up. Take a breath in to prepare. Yes, you can. Right, stand up, all the way up, readjust your feet, take a deep breath in, twist to your left, exhale, right arm to the front, left arm behind you, back to the sky, breathe in, hands down to the floor, flatten the palms, left leg behind your three-legged dog, open the hip, hold, breathe, flip, so flipping means again, you look under the right armpit and you go, oh, my foot can just come to the floor. My left hand can come up anywhere. Look down to the right hand, left hand down. Three-legged dog, left leg behind you. Knee to your nose, exhale. Plank pose, set both feet together. Right knee to your nose. Plank pose, breathe in, left knee to your nose, yep, last little bit, plank, right knee, right knee, three-legged dog, leg behind you, inhale, to the right arm, exhale, inhale, three-legged dog, to the left arm, hold, extend the foot to the floor, feel both heels in the floor, feel grounded and then lift your left arm up, yes, that's it. Pulses or stay and reach an arch for three, two, amazing, look down, hand down, big transition, right leg behind you, three-legged dog, step the foot in between your hands. If it's too far, grab the foot with your right hand, gently. It sounded a bit aggressive, so softly bring it forward and then find your feet, come and stand up, crescent lunge. Take a deep breath in here, twist to your right, exhale, inhale, crescent lunge, arms and torso, lean forward, arms back, whoa, yes we know, we're almost there, reach the arms forward, inhale, now fly, start to lean, weight into that right foot, and then slowly start to peel the left leg off the floor. Focus your eyes on a fixed point. Keep breathing, keep smiling, keep your toes and your fingers active. 
for three. Stay focused. Two. Soft landing, foot down, arms up. Inhale, crescent lunge. Torso forward, arms back. Fabulous work. Arms next to your ears. Inhale. There we go. All the way. Turn your left toes out. Flex the right foot. Look at the right foot. Turn it in. Reverse warrior. Maybe quickly look at the left foot. Toes are in. Wiggle your hands back down to the floor. Low lunge. Look forward. Inhale. Press the right up. Turn the feet parallel. Hold. Breathe. 45 seconds. And then we go down to the floor. Around three more breaths. So if your feet are up, maybe slowly with control, start to bring them down towards the floor. Together, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Identify your right foot, turn it to the front. Lift your left heel, step back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath into the nose. Big side out of the mouth. <sighs> Bend your knees, look forward. Come to a seated position so you can step or you can jump. <sighs> well done. <laughs> the body feels nice and warm, nice and open. It's all it's lovely in yoga where they've been working to flexibility, in strength, mobility. Obviously lots of breath work, maybe have a sip and then consciously decide, okay, we are now going to wind down, make sure you stay warm. I'm going to put my little heat on again. And you're actually going to come straight to your back. So from this it's just a slow transition towards our lovely end pose, which is called Chavasana, our total relaxation. So yeah, make yourself comfortable. And then scoop your hips and come to your back. Leg up the wall, give your legs a little shake. Ah, lots of standing, a powerful practice today. Standing so you feel grounded through the legs. Because when times are a little uncertain, when there is a sense of restlessness, that is um, energetically, it's like you're not grounded. You don't feel that the roots of your tree, <laughs> you're not a tree, but you know what I mean. It's almost like a tree that doesn't have long roots. And you just feel a little unstable. And little things can knock you over quicker, trigger you quicker. So doing a grounded practice, which is really rooted, can make you feel yeah, more stable, more centered. So I hope energetically that this practice will give you that and that you can take that uh, energy into this Easter weekend. Coming to a figure four, so it's the left foot that hooks on top of the right thigh. You can bring the right hand behind the right leg or maybe around the calf. One is not better than the other, it's just a little different. It feels different, it depends on how much space you have. And I'd like to invite you to just close your eyes. Observe. Breathe. I wish I could hear you sigh sometimes. <laughs> can only hear myself sigh. Change sides. 
So legs up, right foot. And, and I'd, I'd like to ask you to flex that right foot. Why? When the muscles are active in the ankle, the muscles are active around the shin, and it can protect your right knee. If everything is floppy and you pull onto the leg, or you're pulling closer to you, um, it is the safest way to have those active muscles. So a soft flex of the right foot, that's the foot that is right in front of your face. And then maybe make a, I call it a double chin. So you bring your chin down towards your chest as if you've got one of those beautiful, maybe you have one, but you know, a double chin. Or you can pretend you want to look at your belly button. This lengthens the back of the neck and then let the shoulders fall away. Close your eyes and breathe. And then bring your knees in towards each other and create a couple of circles. So the hands are on top of the knees. The knees can move away and back in towards your chest. And then create the circles in the other direction. And also massaging the lower back, the back of the pelvis. And then open the arms, open the wings. Knees fall to the left, to the left side. Close your eyes, totally relax your body. You can have the knees closed up or maybe a little bit further down. So if the knees are further down away from the chest, it's a little gentler on the lower back. When they pull up closer and high, they're, they're both fine. They might, one will just feel nicer. So test them out. Bring the knees back to center. Find symmetry. So I always do a little hop here just to feel, okay, now I'm symmetrical. And then take a deep breath in and let the knees fall to the right side for a spinal twist. Nice for your organs. Good to create some space in the spine. And your face can be turned up to the sky, to the ceiling, or, or you can bring it to face your left hand. So close your eyes and breathe. Find some softness. And then just ask yourself, am I warm enough? Or do I need something else before we go to Shavasana? Do I need some socks? Do I need more clothes? Stay warm. Bring the knees back into the center. Give yourself a huge, big squeeze. If there's anything else you'd like to do, this is your practice. So if you want to do a shoulder stance or a head stance or anything, a flow, maybe you're itching to do a back bend, you've got time, so use that time. And then release to Shavasana with the legs extended along the mat. I'll be the timekeeper. So you don't have to worry about time or anything like that. You can just sit still or lie still. If you prefer to come into a seat and meditate, that's also fine. And I will let you know when it's time to either stay in Shavasana a little bit longer or to come back up. So for now, practice the art of doing nothing. But through the art of doing nothing, of letting go, of being in Shavasana, the subconscious, the conscious they meet, there is an integration that we might not understand 
but even that, just let go. This is a very important part of your practice, very healing. If you are really comfortable, just stay exactly where you are. If you have time to just meditate or stay in Shavasana a little bit longer, do so. And how do I start to come into some small movements with your fingers and your toes? Stretch yourself nice and long. And then create a little ball of your own body. Some loving thoughts, some grateful thoughts for a healthy body, specifically in these times. Our health is something we underestimate. We've all probably been sick at some stage with the flu or something like that. And you make you realize that when you're healthy and everything is physically fine, you really underestimate. Because when your health gets taken away from you, you're nothing. Everything changes. So be grateful for a healthy body. Eat and drink and make the decisions to help your body heal and stay healthy. And slowly come to the side, roll to the side. In fetus pose, you can stay there for a little bit. And then come to a seated position. Bring the palms in front of the heart, a gesture of gratitude and connecting our hearts. I'm very, very grateful that I have students <laughs> to teach, <laughs> so thank you very much. Because I have realized, very, it's been a month now, as I said, it's been a month that I've been social distancing and, and not working. Officially, now I've been working again, this is the second week I've been teaching online. But specifically those first two weeks, it really made me realize that as a teacher without students, you're nothing. <laughs> so thank you for being my students today. But at the same time, there is no difference between a student and a teacher. I learn as much from you as you learn from me. We all have our own unique uh, experiences, knowledge, um, so keep sharing that. Thank you. Have a wonderful Easter weekend. Um, I'll be teaching a yin class now in 20 minutes if you want to 
just flop into another hour of, of, of stretching and breathing and otherwise um, yeah on Monday I also just teach sculpt with the weights I know some of you will be there I can't wait if you don't have weights you can also use you can even use cans of chickpeas or you know you can and you also without weights um, it's a good workout um, so thank you very much namaste and really enjoy um, this time whatever it brings in a unique sense that will not come back that, that playing games um, maybe even getting annoyed with your beautiful loved ones it is a unique time that we will always remember so um, yeah make it make it an extraordinary day for you and your family and don't eat too much chocolate on the weekend <laughs> thank you so much bye